Hello, everyone. Welcome back. We got more Dragon Quest 2. Since last time we, uh, we met, I think we've gained a few levels. I'm gonna try to do my grinding off camera. That way, uh, can we move shit along? <clears throat> Sorry about that. Well, we haven't found anything good f new for Guinea. But for Corny and Kane, we now have, uh, Aurora Blades, and Kane has Power Shield. <laughs> he also still has the Windbreaker for some reason. Kane also learned himself a very, very useful spell, Kazing, which uh, revives fallen allies. That's going to be a very, um, very important spell the further along we get. Sorry about that. Anyway, let's get back to what we were doing, shall we? We are going to Burrow L. But we're not grinding today. Well, not on camera, anyway. We're looking for a specific river to take us where we need to go next. Yeah, the Merlusk, uh, <laughs> he seems to know what was up. So, uh, move up. As you've probably guessed, that little spot where the, um, where that fireball was, we're gonna be going there at some point, but, uh, there's nothing there for us now, so... Instead... We keep looking, because there are other things we need to find. The guy said that you could use this as an item, so let's see how that works. Lightning Staff, of course, has lightning. Let's see what the Aurora Blade does. Oh! It, uh, it dazzles enemies. Okay. <coughs> seems a bit, um... Seems a bit of a waste of a turn, but whatever. Molusks. And of course, Kane falls asleep. And now for Corny. Oh crap, everybody fell asleep. Well, at least, uh. At least there wasn't any major, major issues. The Murlusks have uh, figured it out. <laughs> the high tailor, let's see if it's this, uh. If it's this one here. Yes, we are traveling along the river. And I think we've got it. Yep, there we go. There's a town. But I don't seem to be able to get to it from here. So I'm going to have to try something else. Okay, how do I get to that town? Let's see here. <clears throat> Maybe I gotta use that other uh, river. <sighs> Sorry about that. <clears throat> Well, at least these Man of Wars are nice and easy to kill. And we're done! So let's go back down the river.
And let's look for another way in. And before you ask, no, I've not been able to find... Like I said before, I haven't been able to find any good uh, new armor for Guinea. I'm hoping that that town that we're going to is going to have something. Alright, here's another river we can use. Yep. Just... Hmm. We're gonna have to get off at some point. Well, it's time to explore on foot, it seems. <clears throat> and as you can tell, the, uh, the enemies around here aren't quite as powerful as the ones down south. Sorry about that. There we go. Uh, oh, this big ass. Oh, ooh, metal slime. Of course he runs. <clears throat> Can't have things go too easily, now can we? Uh, dirty rats. One and two. That's what's up. Hey, an herb. How do you like that shit? I guess. Ah, oh, I think we... Did we find it? Did we find it, though? We're about to find out. Just gotta get through these enemies. And it's a straight shot into the town. Thank you for dying with us. And here we are. Good they Good day to thee, Wanderer, and welcome to the humble hamlet of Sleeves. Greetings, friend. I am a wandering warrior come hither in search of a true master of his art. In this village dwelleth a great weaver, Don Calico, by whose hand hath many a magic garment been loomed. Alas, he is a curmudgeonly soul, and will not set warp against weft without the thread and shuttle of his choosing. <clears throat> In other words, we gotta, uh... <coughs> we gotta find the skine and the shuttle. We have the shuttle already, so that's good. Here's a church, we don't need that right now. If the talk amongst my fellow merchants is true, a fragment of the moon itself is secreted atop, atop the Tower of the Moon. What power? Might such an artifact possess, I wonder? And what price might it fetch? Hey, look, an armory. Let's see what the armory has, shall we? Hmm. Not feeling. Not feeling anything here. Shame, but hey, it happens. That must return to us! Our most precious floodgate key. Praise unto thee, Wanderer. 
Yeah, I'm going to use it in a minute. The south of the village stand as a structure known to those who reside hereabouts as the Tower of the Moon. Tis said the place could once be reached by boat, but it has since become wholly inaccessible to man. Oh, it's about to be accessible in a minute. Well met, friend. My name is Jean. I seek my good for nothing husband. Might thou have seen him on thy travels? Does he drink his fill of mead in the comfort of the sluice house once again, perhaps? Why that? Ah, she married a drunk. That happens. I am Don Calico, who did retire unto this far-flung place, that I might escape the troubles of the world. Hast thou business with me? Well, I have no business with thee. Be gone! Oh, he's a nice fellow, isn't he? Really, really cheerful type. Holy shit. Uh, curse thee, Rogue Fastfinger. Thou in inveterate scoundrel. A blessed rogue. Had I, been but, had I been but one moment fleeter of foot, I might have apprehended thee. Oh, he's taking the, uh... He's taking that, that thief... Really, really personally. Throw open the floodgates. Let loose the sluice. That the land might slake its thirst and the river flow full and mighty. Evident again, the adult pated old fool saith this and not else. What aileth thee, old man? Wherefore prettest thou, prettest thou so? <clears throat> Pet the dog. Jean, my beloved, my one, my and only. Pray forgive me. I am an oaf for lag at a scandal. Huh? Thou art not Jean. God has be praised. But the... Will God... Thou... Will God the secrets of my whereabouts, would thou not? I was a cold-hearted cove friend, and no mistake. Oh, fuck you too, pal. You shouldn't be drinking behind your wife's back. Now for the floodgate key. Bang. Oh, shit, no. Well, you can see the result of opening the sluice. We now have uh, access by boat to the town. <clears throat> now let's just, uh... Get in right quick. Actually, no, let me, uh... Let me do this first. Some use. And that brings the boat. Which is always important. All right. Oh, here, talk to you. Oh, I was hoping for a different set of dialogue, but can't be helped, I suppose. Just uh, hit in right quick. There we go. What the hell do you have, homie? Let's get rid of that club while we're here. Actually, wait a minute. I forgot to check the other two mediates. Uh, nope. No issues. Which means... Tower time! Now we're looking for the Shard of the Moon.
And as you can see, we have new, uh, new enemies to play with. Too slow, Orky. Alrighty then. Up the tower we go. Oh crap. Well. They're starting with all barrels. Holy shit. Force is a straight up. <laughs> oh, these bastards are tough. Just, uh, slap a couple of, uh, heels on everybody. There we go. Oh, nothing there. Let's see, we have another corn ball name for. An enemy the terror that goal. Come on, Bucky boy. Ooh, level time. It's Kane, he's reaching level twenty thirty two, I'm sorry. Oh crap, we're gonna be here a while. Or not. Looks like we're, uh. Oh, of course he's gonna cast heal. Thankfully, Corny has more, uh, attack power than the dude can heal. And another level. I think I found me a new grind spot. 27. And she also learns Kazig. That is definitely a boon. Hmm, where to? Well, those two big doors, they have a, uh, they have potential to lead us somewhere really nice. So that's where we're going. And dead. Ah, oh, great, more ghouls. And off we go. Oh, another staircase. We're going all the way down, apparently. The moon doth wax and the tides swell. It waneth and the, and the seas recede. Thus was it ever written. Here, in the tower of the moon, thou shalt throw open yonder chest and claim that which lieth within. Thus was it ever written. Hey, cool. That's easy. We got the moon shard, but what's... I wonder what's at the top of this tower. The, oh. He's gonna run. 
Now I'm curious as to what's at the top of the tower. Up, oh, a chest. Hmm. You know what? Let's confirm these idiots. Defeat, defeat, and defeat. We're just about done here anyway, so hey! <clears throat> a prayer ring. And we fall. Back here. Did we sell any of this shit? No, I'm gonna keep the prayer rings. Might need those later. The prayer rings, for those of you not in the know, will increase your, uh, your max, your, well, not your maximum, you will restore your MP, I'm sorry. However, you can only use them a certain amount of times before they break. So while they're not quite, um, as disposable as, say, a medical herb or whatever, medicinal herb, I'm sorry, um... They do have a, um, a limit, which makes them very valuable, especially in endgame. Alright, off we go. So now we have the Moon Shard. Now, if you might remember in Zahan, they said something about... This group of sh shoals, um, spiked rocks coming out the water, that'll ray that'll rise if you have the moon shard. So now that we have the moon shard, let's go look for the um, let's go look for those shallows. Bang! Bang! And bang! And we just slaughter some uh, merlusks. And off we go. Oh well, look look at that. That's just that's just wonderful luck. Uh, Well, at least they die easy now. And consult the map. Okay, um... Something that looks interesting. To the, uh, southwest of Durkendor. Corner. Uh oh. Ah, good. It's always good when only when a very small uh, portion of your party goes to sleep. You know what? I'm not even gonna bother with that. We just go attack. Because at this point, the Merlus can't really uh, do any damage to us. This way. Move further north. Oh, shot it a little bit. And there. I wish that feather were smaller, though. Hey, there we go. Now we need to use the moon shard. And there go the rocks that were, uh... keeping us away. Hey, 
And hey, look, it leads us to another dungeon. Well, never been above a little dungeon diving. Big box. Uh oh. There goes the whack a light. Now it's nothing but hands from here on out. Two and three. This might take a few, uh, a few runs. Passage. And those, uh, those eyeball creatures look positively terrifying. Oh, the, well, at least we're not gonna have to deal with that idiot suit very long, for very longer. Here we go. Now, that was easy. Well, now we're getting hella experience points here. You know what, we're not even bother. Way too many HP and way too many MP to worry about this shit. At least for now. Okay, where to? No miasmas ain't shit. There's a little uh, spot that's obscured over there. Take a look. Nothing! Alright. Thankfully, the bloody hands aren't calling, uh, a bunch of reinforcements. That's happened to me more than once. Not sure why they're dropping copper swords, but whatever. Girl, uh oh. Two fizzles, so we won't be using any magic to. Uh oh. That's a problem. Huh. Oh, they're still able to attack. I think. Oh shit, I'm. I'm lucky, right? Super lucky. Two tier, see the magic. Hmm. Let me throw some shit out. Uh, let's get rid of these copper swords. Uh, okay, we're pretty, uh, we're in a pretty good way. Lucky for me, antidote herb. Okay. 
and it's back to the grind. Try again, boy. What the hell is that soldier doing here? Seems an odd place to hang out. Many hundreds of years ago, a great volcano did erupt beneath the ocean waves, giving rise under the cave in which we stand. It's a true natural wonder. A most infernally sweltering natural wonder. It's hot as shit. See, this, is what, this is what I was talking about earlier in the playthrough. Two, same, two of the same enemies, but different groups, so that you can't use uh, group magic effectively against them. It's actually a huge pain in the ass. Um... I remember it being an absolute ridiculous bit of nonsense when I was playing uh, Dragon Warrior 3 on the Nintendo as a kid. You know, those were the days and such. Let's see who's here. That's another safe passage. Hey, hey! Oh, there's there's the helping hands. At least one, anyway. And the two. And we are done. Oh, oh. A prayer ring. I'll use more of those. Wait. Wait a minute. Yeah. Well, let's keep exploring here then. More bone. There's nothing there. Yep, he's casting the buff on himself. Not that it's going to do any good, because he did. All right. Corny was able to take his down in one shot. That's what we like to see. Oh, level time! Corny gets to level 35.
Now we're seeing tons of striking saber cats now. Makes you wonder where the hell the king of Durkendor got his before. Looks like we're gonna have to do some uh some lava stepping. Passage and walk along. Hey, well, at least he didn't call any friends. Let me do this right quick. That's what we like to say. Oh, cool, we've got a chest and some stairs. Options, gotta love them. Boom, boom, that's what's up. In fact, I do. Let's see what's here. Let's oh, see the strength. Now, well, let's see if these staircases have anything. Nothing here. And another one. And nothing here. Looks like the party continues. So one thing about these uh these caves, I think I've mentioned this. Kinda hard to go through them when absolutely everything looks the same. Couple of landmarks wouldn't have been uh, wouldn't have been uh, taken for granted. I'll tell you that much. Although it is better than the, the first-person RPGs, like your wizardries and the type. Those games fucking gave me conniptions. I could never go through those. At least here you have the layout. 
you know? The guy Joe. Okay, how do we do this? This is an interesting setup. Nothing but staircases. An iron lance. Ooh. There's a chest. Due to magic armor. That's some money to spend. Hmm. Oh shit. That damn saber cat survived. <clears throat> now we have a dead lord chief ten. The enemy is dead, bitch. Uh, which one's the right one there? That's the mystery. Take us some numbers. Oh crap. Well, that was easy. Hmm, this wasn't the right one, I guess. Well, he's got safe passage. Chasm or not. <clears throat> Let's see if we can kill these motherfuckers. There we go, already halfway through. Vanishing Bell, let's, uh, let's equip that, shall we? Wait, who has it? Aura, magic, power. Vanishing Bell, there we go. Guinea's not the slowest. Eh, cassap. Not that it's gonna be worth much. Level time! <clears throat> hey, look, Guinea joins. And there. Hey, look, a single solitary dance there. What could that be? Possibly be. Don't talk about a flash in the fucking past. Dragonflies. <clears throat> Didn't expect to see an enemy at that low level.
I guess they wanted to throw us a curveball. And they're dead. Yeah, it looks like there's a uh, kind of altar type deal there. I get the feeling that's where we're supposed to go. Oh shit, that was not where I was supposed to go. No, Hunter Mac, you are not going to be making it alive. Who dares defile the shrine of the Great Conflagration? No matter, thy off the offering of thy flesh shall appease the spirits of the beyond. <laughs> oh, these guys think they're gonna kill me. That's cute. And done. Quick and clean. Cause the glory of the mighty hog gone. And they're dead. Definitely gotta get the Wackalites first, because they have full heal. Thank you for making the, uh... Thank you for making the, uh, point. The false idol. Let's get the hell out of here. Whoa, whoa, evac first. You don't zoom first, you evac first. Let's go to... Let's go to Durkendor. that, but it did. Thank you, thank you. Gonna do some selling. Let's see what we can sell, shall we? The Iron Lance. And the magic armor. Let's see what else we have. I'm not going to be selling the, the jailer key, and we can't sell. Uh, hmm. I'll put some of this in storage. No, you're good. Deposit items. Floodgate key away. Uh, I need that right away. <clears throat> no, 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 that's not what I'm gonna do. Profit items. Okay, we can get rid of that damn uh, windbreaker. Deposit items Guinea. Oh crap, I have a wizard staff. I didn't know that. I thought I'd sold that. Let's uh, take care of that then. Fell off the wizard staff. 3K is great.
Let's see how much we have. 59. You might be able to find to get one of those mink mantles, or whatever the hell it's called, for uh, the guinea over there, very soon. But now that we're nearing the hour, and the, uh, the last uh, part or two went over, so I'm going to call it here. Talk to the king, shall we? Well met, brave corny. Thou art welcome in Dekandor as ever. Of course. No need to continue. Uh, thank you for your time. Hope you've enjoyed it. I know I have. Let me know what you think in the comments, and as always, God bless you.